let's create a share files or folders feature with other users that we have on drive so to do that let me add google authentication first using nextroth so if i come to the code here we need to add our client secret from google and id as well in the env file so let me show you how to get them open google auth in the nextroth.js click developer console this is the link of that click it so here we can create a new credential select oauth client id check the application type as web application name it so let me make it as drive 2.0 or your name then we have to add our client uri we have to add javascript origin which is localhost 3000 in here so add it we have to add redirect url so if you check in here if we are in production we have to add the link with the domain name else we have to add our localhost 3000 url in here so i am on local so let me add this then simply cre click create here it will take create it so i have already done this previously so if i open this we will have a client id in here and a client secret that we can feed in the env file so i have done that already now we can close this come to google auth so just like we had github provider we have for google so if i copy the command here add it in here the provider name which is called google then we need to add the provider of google in the area of provider which is taking the client id and secret and from env file this file that i just added so this is the github auth type or interface let me change this to simple auth auth interface let me copy this just add it here and add it in here as well save it so we have no errors if i come to the drive 2.0 click sign up we have google option to sign up or sign in so sign in with google account so i have done this for multiple users because on github i only have an account but on google i have two accounts so we can simply check as we share files between two users so let me log in with nishant as 440.gmail.com this email so we are getting all these data because the email is same now let's add the function for sharing the files and folders so what we need to do add the dot using react icons that it is very simple i guess for you also so add it and when we click it we will open up a modal in here which is has which has the input type input field two buttons share and close on the button of share we are running this function called get shared email so if i open the console if i add the email say nishant is 440 at the red gmail dot com click share the email will be here now we need one more state here fault called current file id set current id as use state and empty string now what should happen is if i click the three dots in here that is here we need to set the id of the current post in that state so we can just do wrap this in a curly brace after the window model opening we can say set current id as file dot id file dot id so the same thing we can do so this three dots we are having we are having in the folder and the file as well so we can add it in here as well where okay we have added in the file this is a folder yes this is a file now save bit me add it here so if you don't know one more thing i have to i have done this is when we click the folder icon only then we will open the folder not on the card because we have to propagate this as well the three dots function icon or the operation of that so we have the id now so we can just console this current field current file id so folder 2 
will have let me add the email okay one more thing that i can do is in the email property in the input input property let me make this as an email save add the email or also let me add the value in here that will be email save now if i click also id will be needed email if i click the email share it the email and the id is here perfect now we have to do what we have to do is come to the get shared emails and run a function to update the emails in the fire store so we are having this let me just delete this fields or start from the beginning so let me delete the files now create one file here before that let me show you one thing so in the fire store we have add folder and add a file in here in the add files we need to initialize the document with a new array that will be called as shared to that will be an empty array initially the same thing we can do in here as well so add it save now if i add a file this new type of field will affect i mean it will be here in the fire store database so wait for it it is here let's check now what do we have we have files we have the share to array which is initially empty if i click this share button we should run a function to update data in the fire store precisely share to so we will have to add our email inside this so let me make a function called export const share or share file or folder so let me just name this as share files it will work for both of them this will take an email comma so email will be a string comma what else it will take the id the current id of the file that is current field also a string so let me select a document first so let shared file doc equals to doc in here we can just add the collection name which is called files we need to select the collection using the id which is the current field id because for only that post we have to update but the thing is if i add a email in here so let me use update doc function so update doc this will take this shared doc as the first value first prop second will be this email but the email will be inside the shared too so let me copy this field add it in here and just add the email save remember that this is an array but we are passing in uh, what is it a string so if i just do this let me give it a refresh okay we have to hook the function in here as well so import share files share files from api fire store let me run this function in here we need to pass email and the current field id let me wrap it in a try catch block copy this add it in inside okay we need the catch block as well error clg error perfect now any errors will be caught so let me share this one let me add the email of my other account this one click share now come over here and the email is now inside this one shared to property but the thing is we can have multiple emails inside it that's why i chose an array so let me get that array in here using get doc so we can have get doc function and by the way let me make the function as asynchronous because it is an api call so await get doc await update doc so update i mean get doc will take the shared doc or shared file doc to get data let me have a response in here response equals to await get doc make a console log here save if i just comment this now come to the fire store sorry come to 
the app drive 2.0 click share we are getting the data we need to filter it from here so we can say response dot data save it click it again share we need the share to so just to get it here the thing is it can be undefined so make a question mark it will be fine so we can do this again for the last time and the email is now here so if you remember or i think you do we have made this as an empty array so we need this data to structure it and add our current email which is this let me remove console log save so refresh the page so we are having this shared email as this so let me delete this field share it again so let me add the email here nishant as 500.gmail.com click share okay value is not iteratable okay the thing is what is the problem here is it was a string so we can make the field here as a or as an as an array so add field this this will be an array click add now we have this now if i just do it again it will work share check here okay it is here let me delete this one because we don't need an empty property so we have this email now let me type or let me share this to another user called uday123 at the rate gmail.com click share this will be in here after the first email so we are having shared emails list now we have to get them for our user as well so come to fetch files we need to make a few changes in here so first of all we need to just have a check here so if item dot parent id is empty when we don't have parent id in that case we need to check if item dot shared emails dot includes our user email that we're getting from the params it is if it is there show it else okay we also don't need this email query because we need not to check it we need to just have files in here directly not have the collection type of files or collection name of files and then do same thing in here with includes so change okay let me just have this here so change it change it here as well in files now the second thing we need is if i come to this and if i make this in an curly bracket then add or operator we need to check if item dot user email is equal to user email in case the email that we are having is our own that was the that is why we had the query for the user email at the very beginning that we removed using this query and where now same thing we can do in here for the this one if the parent id exists for instead folders so save them it will work let me remove the query and where let me explain it again that what we are doing in here so we are filtering here if parent id is equal to empty string it means show all the files and folders okay we have this issue cannot read properties of undefined reading includes so let me just have and check here for this and this save it's fine now so yes where was i let me explain this is the case or this was the case for if the parent id is empty it means the root folder else if the parent id is equal to parent id show only those posts for nested nested folders now what we have to do the second check is if this is true and either one of them is true and they are if our email is inside this array it means it is shared so this post that i am having this file i am having it has been shared to these two users so if my email that way that i used to log in is inside this shared emails array show it else or or i mean show them when this user email is equal to this user email 
in both cases if the post is our own then the same thing we are doing in here but this case is for nesting so you have to get it fine now let me show you sharing a post to other user like we have shared this to nishandas 550.gmail.com let me create one more let's say folder we can say let me create two folders that first one will be first one will be folder one click create second one will be shared folder click create they are both here let me share the folder to some user called nishant as 550 at the rate gmail.com now it is or it should be in here this is for shared folder we have shared it to, to this user so this post will be shown to nishant as 440 and nishant 550 at the rate or 123 at the rate gmail.com so we can come to sign up with the other user this one we have wrong key here so if item dot shared to is equal to user email then show it now it will be in here so these two files this image and shared folder are now shared to me so that is how we create shared files and folders